Hi, I'm Nancy Kane. Welcome to my studio. I'd like to share a little bit about my philosophy of art as an artist and as an instructor and share with you some of the beads and fun things that I have in my studio. As an artist, I really think that all people have creativity within them. I think some people are able to appreciate art from afar and some people have the passion to create art. I love to create the art. And as you work, you realize that art is really pragmatic, fluid, and spontaneous. The pragmatic is really just dealing with the foundational aspects. How do you make a turn? How do you make a circle? How do you do certain things? And simple math, like if you were to use a row count of 34, that would give you 17 as a, round, as a row count, breaking down from there. And there's not much you can do with 17 because it's a prime number. It's only divisible by itself and one. So I always design with multiples of 12. That way you can break it, break it into quarters, thirds, halves. You have so many more options. And those are just some simple little tricks that you can use when you're designing. And the more accessible you have of the fundamentals, the easier it is to be fluid and spontaneous. I'd like to share a few things about beading and, and how you bead for a longer period of time. I think posture, sitting up straight, having your feet flat on the ground, and having a raised surface really enables you to bead longer without injuring yourself. I use these bead on it boards as this is to keep prying kitties off the tray. This is a project I've been working on, making another color of this, and then I, yesterday I was working on this project. So you, I keep things handy here. The thing that we're going to do in the Masterclass Retreat is we're going to work on our object dart, which is a little piece of personal art, whether it's wearable or display. You could make a little crown that would sit on top of a larger crown. You could make a little vessel that has, say, maybe even a fertility goddess instead of just a vessel. An articulated fish. You can see I'm working on this figuring out the logistics of that, or some kind of critter. And in this class, what I'm going to do is give you a lot of foundational starts. How to make a turn, an angle, a triangle, all the different pragmatic, teachable foundational aspects of beading. So then you'll be able to have some spontaneity, some fun, and create your own piece of object art.